hi age banner families welcome back to the channel so today i'm going to walk you through the process of making your face cap from scratch professionally so what we need now is that you will take measurement or you will take the measurement of your head circumference so my own head circumference is 22.5 so 22.5 i'm going to divide it by six so after dividing it by 6, it will give me 3.75 inches. So I'm going to use this 3.75 inches to cut my face cap pattern. Let's get started. So I'll first try draw I'll first draw a straight line here like this. So after drawing the straight line I'm going to use 6.5 inches for my face cap height. So I'll mark 6.5 inches here and here. And I'll connect the line together. I'm going to draw a straight line here also. So after that, I'm going to apply my measurement. So I'm going to apply 3.75 inches. That's 3.7 inches like this. So I will mark it here. And also I'm going to mark it here. So I will draw a straight line to link it up together. As you can see so I'm going to find the center of 3.75 inches at the top like this <laughs> after that I will mark 3.5 inches here and 3.5 inches here as well so I'm going to use my French curve to make the curve just like this and also I will do it I will do it in the other side just like this so I will just add so like 0.2 sewing allowance to each side like this. So remember I'm going to use this pattern to cut 4 pieces and I will make the back pattern and I will cut 2 pieces that will make 6 pieces for the face cap. So after cutting another pieces for our back pattern, I'm going to mark 2 inches downward here. I'll mark 2 inches downward here and I will mark another 2.5 inches upward like this. So I'm going to draw a curve to link the both dots together just to make our back pattern. I'm going to cut these two pieces and the first one four pieces together we make six pieces for the uh, for the back pattern so i will start by the first pattern i'm going to cut four pieces remember i i'm cutting it on food so it will be cut in four pieces
so now i'm going to cut the back pattern remember the front is facing each other while cutting while cutting the fabric so i'm joining I'm, I'm going to cut just two pieces for the back pattern as you can see it is most for it to face each other while cutting so after that i'm going to attach i'm going to place my color stay on it and i'm going to gum it together so you we are going to place stay on every pieces of the pattern After that, we are going to move on to the stitching level. So let's start with the stitching section. So I'm going to take two parts from the four pieces we cut earlier. And I'm going to stitch it together like this. Remember the front will be facing each other. So after the stitching, this is how it will look like. And I'm going to use back tape or bias to cover the inner path and make top stitch on it. Just like this. After I'm done with it, I'm going to take one pieces from the back pattern and attach it to it as well so this is what it will looks like and i will do the remaining three pieces like that also so after i stitch the three remaining pieces this is how the both side will looks like and i'm going to attach it to each other make sure the tips of the center of each by each pieces facing each other so after stitching it together this is how it will looks like as you can see that our face cap is half done so here i'm going to cut the face cap brim so i will first draw a straight line here and i will mark seven inches from here also i'll mark seven inches here i will link up the both line together so from this line i'm going to mark two inches inward two inches downward rather so i'll connect the line together And also from that point, I'm going to mark three inches also, three inches and connect it together also. So after that, I'm going to find the center of seven inches, the center of seven inches, which is 3.5. I will mark it, mark it here and also mark it at the last line. So I'm going to use my French curve to make the curve for to make the curve for the brim.
So you should pay full attention to this area. After finish stitching this, I'm going to cut the XX fabric away. Just like this. And I'm going to turn it. So after that, I'm going to find the center of the brim by notching it. So our brim is get done. Now I'm going to find the center of the front of the face cap and attach it to the notch uh, to the area I notch on the brim, and I'm going to stitch it together. So this is how it will looks like after stitching it. And for the back panel, I'm going to attach my back tape to it and turn it over just like this 